we all know why we're here. So this is the plan for today. I have a hundred pages left of Kingdom of Ash and it's the first sunny day since my pool opened. So I figured I'd go to the pool for a couple hours, finish this guy, get it out of the way and then go to Barnes and Noble because I have so many things that I wanna get. If I go before I finish this, I just won't be able to wait and I'll just start a million other books. Right now I'm in like all of the fighting stuff and there's been a lot of that obviously because it's the last book. It's very high stakes, but I'm very curious to see how this ends. Just because of like things Miss Sarah J has said in interviews. So we'll see. I don't even know what my list of books to get today is. I have it written down somewhere, but I don't even want to think about it right now. I'm just going to get this done and we're going to go one step at a time. Uh, I cannot express how excited I am to have like a summer pool Barnes and Noble day. Oh, my heart. My heart is happy. Muggy outside. That was so nice. I only stayed out for like an hour, but even that was like needed, you know? I still have a couple chapters left, but honestly, I might finish it at Barnes & Noble, but this is the game plan. Okay, one, it is prime Emily Henry book reading weather. It just is. So I recently got people we meet on vacation at Target. And I think I wanna read them in order that she released them, even though they're not connected or like you don't need to read, you don't have to do that. Actually, no, cause I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna be too excited to read it. All of that to say, I wanna get book lovers today. <laughs> I had originally planned to read that and Happy Place on my Kindle but truthfully, I've just been really into blue recently <laughs> and I really like the cover. So that's, that's my only reason. Um, also, I read Local Woman Missing through audiobook and me and some of my work friends like listened to it together during our shift and we just got so into it. I finished it. Yes, 4.5 out of five for that one. So I figured it would be nice to have it like physically. Then I wanna get the second volume of Orange. I finished the first one and I'm so invested. I'm so invested. Mm, I kinda wanna get something else. I kinda wanna get like a literary fiction book, just like, I don't know. I just want all of these to be palette cleansers because I just finished the Throne of Glass series or I'm finishing it today. I love fantasy, don't get me wrong. I'm a fantasy galley. But you know, you always need your like palette cleansers in there in between. So before I start another like fantasy book or series or anything like that, I wanna maybe get through these first. But speaking of, when I am ready, everyone's posting about fourth wing. Everyone, everyone and their mom. I wanna be a part of it. I. I'm just a sucker for dragons, you guys. Anything with dragons in it, sign me up. So I think I want to read that and The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which is on Kindle Unlimited for all the KU girlies out there. I heard somebody say that the other day on BookTube and my brain short-circuited because I don't know if I'm dyslexic or what. It, my brain went UK. UK girlies like are we talking about like a UK cover or something like that and then I went no it's KU Kindle Unlimited so I got there eventually because it's so muggy and it's starting to be really overcast I really hope Barnes & Noble is not packed it could be hopefully I hit like that prime time for 
being alone in there. But yeah, let's go. Next time I do this, I need to go. I need to get rid of some books. That is not relevant for today, but just as a reminder to myself. Hoping you love me once again. I know I'm selfish a little bit. And you come love us and help in me. Yeah, who you are in the same place. Just come back. coming back out and then going away and it's raining and then it's raining while it's sunning while it's sunning while it's sunny okay that's where I'm at today so speaking of I almost didn't film today because I just feel so brain dead but I was like you know everybody feels like that sometimes so here I am but I got my books. Oh, that's much better, okay. I went back and forth so many times about what I wanted to get. Um, first of all, I did get Local Woman Missing. I'm really glad that I got this. They're buy one, fi they're buy one fifth, oh my gosh. Hello, they're buy one, get one. 50% off from this table that I got it from and I almost got another one and she asked me about it at the register and then I freaked out and was like no it's okay um low-key regretting it but I'll know for next time just get another one so since I already have read this book I'll just go ahead and tell you what it's about basically a woman goes missing and then a couple blocks away another woman and her daughter go missing and you go back and forth between a few point of views some of them in the present time and some of them 11 years in the past but present time the daughter that was stolen 11 years ago returns and so everyone's like how why what's going on so she was six when she disappeared and she was 17 when she came back which is crazy I'll give more of like a thorough update of how I feel about this one in my monthly wrap up and everything. I was really, I was invested in it like the first half of the book, but there was one POV that I was just not vibing with. I felt like it was kind of pointless. Um, but then once it got to like the second chunk of the book, reveal after reveal, just like, pfft. and they were all good enough that I did not see them coming and I liked where they were going. Cause sometimes thriller books, something will come out of left field and I almost feel like it's too ridiculous to be believable. But I think this one did a good job with like all the reveals and stuff. So, Love a Woman Missing, book one. Then I got the second volume of Orange. <laughs> Tell me why, when she was checking me out, she <laughs> scans this book and she goes, oh, I remember that one. And I was like, So I'm just, I'm really ready to continue to get my heart broken with this series. I love it though. It's really heavy and really light at the same time. I don't really know how else to describe that. But basically, it's this group of friends in high school and something happens to one of them and this girl receives a letter from herself 10 years in the future. And she basically explains to herself the things that she wishes she would have done to prevent this from happening and it's so cute and so sad and i love it i'm so glad that i started reading this one and it's got little like 
author notes in between because the volumes have a, a few of the books in it. They're super short, they're only two pages, but it explains how she thought of stuff, like how she thought of the socks and what inspired that, like their little red socks. Just like cute little details that I appreciate. Then, obviously you know, you know I had to get book lovers. I am so glad that I got this physically because look how cute it is. Yeah, if this sucks, I'm gonna be upset because I've heard really good things about it and then I've heard a couple meh things about it. So, I hope it's good. But I thought regardless, I want to try and finish it, even if I don't like it. Because I'm like, even if I don't like the story, I like Emily Henry's writing. So, I feel like that could save it. Oh, what's it about? Let's see. I'm not sure. One Summer, Two Rivals, a plot twist they didn't see coming. Ooh, okay. So, she's a literary agent and her little sister brings her to a small town and she keeps bumping into this guy that she knew that's a bookish brooding editor okay it's not really giving me much besides that uh they keep running into each other so we'll see where that goes oh it's so cute can't you just picture me reading this by the pool i can what a time Okay, then for my fourth book, I wanted to get something else. I almost got The Last Thing He Told Me by Reese Witherspoon. By Reese Witherspoon. It was in her book club. Oh my gosh. I'm stroking out. I really almost picked up Fourth Wing. I'm, re I'm really considering going back in there and getting it. Um, it was the first book that I saw in there too. On display, ready for me. I thought about getting Carrie Soto's back, that's actually the one that I really wanted to get. However, the paperback comes out, I think next month. Yeah, it comes out June 6th. And so I kind of want to get it in paperback instead. Well, you better believe as soon as it's released. I'm running back here. Cause I'm just like really in the mood for that book for some reason. So what I did end up getting, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Aha! Uh -huh. I will never stop calling it that. Honestly, I'm gonna start doing it on purpose now. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I always forget the ands. All I know is that this one is about two people that are potentially video game developers. I'm not super sure. Let's read about it. Yeah, it sounds like it's these this guy and girl and they're creating a really cool video game together and... Oh, it spans for 30 years. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then at the very bottom, it says, yes, it is a love story, but it is not one you have read before. Love that. And I'm not usually one for super like maximalist covers, but I do actually really like this. I feel like that was done, it was done well. So that's what I got. My little mini haul. I mean, honestly, for this, this is not a mini haul. I feel like I usually only go and get two books. I really, I really ran myself in. But if you think about it, I've already read one of these. So I'm really only getting three new books. Genuinely though, the only thing holding me back from getting more today was like, oh, but I wanna read some of my Kindle too. <laughs> there's just so many things to read and there's not enough time. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go walk around World Market. Maybe home goods. I need to look for a rug. And then I'm gonna go home and start one of these. I don't know which one I should start yet though. We'll see. Okay, this is what we got going on. <laughs> this plant. I love her. Honestly, that was pretty successful. That was a pretty successful shopping day. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this. It needs to go on the bottom of the book wall because it's so big, but I also... You know what? No. This one, this one's going in my room. However, this one can go on the book wall. I will be ripping the sticker off of it.
And guess what? I can put this one up too because I finished it. I'm not going to put it up there though because I am doing an entire video going over this entire series, which is very long. It'll be spoiler free though. So I think I'm gonna go film that. I'll probably, hmm. I think I wanna start Book Lovers tonight. Feels right. I'll see you guys later.